peace, blessings, and love to you and your family. And may Yahweh bless the sins here as always. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, understand why the Most High God tells us we shouldn't trust in humans. And why the Most High God says, beware of your friends. Such people who call themselves priests, prophets, you know, teachers, such and such. So as we know, we live in a world where they mock God every day. And this government and the people who rule over you, they follow an evil course. Their motto is, as above, so below, right? So we already know what happened above. The angels turned their back on the Most High. They transgressed His laws. So this is what these people try to do down here. You see what I'm saying? This is their motto. This is why the Most High God says, don't trust humans. So let's go ahead and start off with Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 4. It says, Beware of your friends. Do not trust anyone in your clan. For every one of them is a deceiver. And every friend is slanderer. Verse 5. Friend deceives friend. And no one speaks the truth. They have told their tongues to lie. They worry themselves with sinning. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just imagine something real quick, okay? Let's go ahead and understand something here. Imagine, you know, you and your buddies, right? Actually, you, okay? You had this, you had, you know, you had some money, you had some materials, some time to invest in building something. And you want to go ahead and get your buddies involved, you understand? You ask your buddies to help you, okay? Just to help you, you understand that? If they want to help, you understand that? Okay, because, you know, you, you have this, you have the material, okay? You are the creator here. You're building this establishment whatever you're building right so you're just trying to help your buddies out you're asking them if they need work you want to work for me i'm doing this right so anyways right you you hire your buddies right and they they help out they help build okay so after your establishment is fully built everybody loves it you understand you're getting all this money you're getting all this fame but what happens is seeds of contempt start to arise you understand your friends start to envy you you see what I'm saying? Because why? Because you're getting all the fame now. You see what I'm saying? Since, you know, you're you're the creator of this, okay? This establishment, you made. You understand that? So now, this is yours. So now your friends are hating you because you, you have got all this, basically, fame. You understand? You've created the world and everything in it. So basically, they want that honor now. You see what I'm saying? They want to do what you did now. They want to go ahead and try to create something of their own. You see what I'm saying? This is what the Most High God says has happened with these serpent seeds. You see, and this is what's going on here on Earth. They're trying to create their own things. Okay? And nobody gives praises to the Most High God who created the whole Earth. So let's go ahead and understand this here, right? People love to scheme. So that's what the fallen angels did. You see what I'm saying? The Most High God created them to be His servants. You understand? So that they can do His will. That's why they were called the children of the heaven. But they were scheming. You see what I'm saying? Seeds of contempt entered them once they started seeing the Most High Yahweh building His earth. Okay? Once He started seeing the, the descendants and the inhabitants of the earth multiplying right they they became wicked they became jealous right they wanted people to worship them now they wanted to be you know known as gods also okay which we're going to read about this is uh in the book of enoch chapter seven sorry this is chapter six okay verse one so right here it says the fall of the angels. The demoralization of mankind. The intercession of the angels on behalf of mankind. The dooms pronounced by God on the angels. So let's read this here. And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. Okay, because the Most High God put His Spirit in Adam's lineage. You understand that? In one certain lineage, the Most High God put His Spirit in. 
and made those people blessed and gave those people dominion over everything on the earth. You see what I'm saying? And unto those people was mo was multiplied calmly daughters. In other words, they didn't want. They were satisfied with what the Most High Yahweh had given them. Okay? Because you, we could go ahead and read this for you. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, it says, Then the Most High said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, over the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. Verse 27, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them, as we read here. And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied, that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of heaven, saw and lusted after them. You see what I'm saying? So it's telling you here, right, that the nations were born, because out of Adam, came all the nations. Remember, Adam represents mankind. This is the demoralization the, the of mankind. Okay? This is how mankind became cursed. So let's read it. It says here, And it came to pass when the children of men, talking about the nations, right, humanity, had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. That means that the nations had their own ways. Okay? They had their own, they basically had their own ways of living. It says here, And the angels, the children of the heavens, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose wives from among the children of men. In other words, let us go to each of these nations, each of these people, and become their gods. This is what it means here. Okay? Come, let us choose wives from the children of men and beget us children you understand this is why they follow the ways of the heathen nations okay this is the reason why these people are worshiping demons today rather say because why because the the watchers came down here and taught these people their ways all right they came and they basically made known to them the arts of the metals and such and such which you can read about for yourself in a different chapter but we're not talking about that we're talking about not trusting anybody not trusting humanity because why because humanity has been cursed they have been bitten by the serpent okay so it says here come let us choose us wives from among the children of men and beget us children verse 3 and Simjaza, who was their leader said unto them, I fear ye will not intend agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great deed. You see this? Again, scheming. This is what Satan was doing. Simyaza, right? Which Simyaza means infamous Satan, the first Satan, the first transgressor. Okay? He was scheming. Okay? Because the Most High God, he created them to be his servants. You understand that? The Most High God tells you how he created the seven archangels and then he created the servants, right? The servants, the children of the heavens, which represents the watchers because they are supposed to do the will of God. You understand that? So, a number of the watchers transgressed the Most High's law. They didn't want to do the Most High's uh, 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 will, okay? In other words, they coveted what he made. You understand that? Okay, they covered. They were hating. So, verse 3 here in the book of Enoch, chapter 6, verse 3, it says, And Simeaza, who was their leader, said, uh, sorry, said unto them, I fear ye would not in indeed agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. So he knew that he was wrong. See that? That's the difference here when you don't know that you're doing wrong. He knew that he was going against the Most High's law. He knew. That what he was doing was a, a great sin, okay? But what he did, he wanted to bring other people down with him. Just like he's doing now in these days. Trying to bring you people down with him. Because he know he has <laughs> but such a, a short time, okay? 
you people out there, you know, you probably think that we are wrong because, you know, we don't believe in your Jesus Christ or, you know, whatever you people believe in. But again, you're the one who's wrong. You're the one who's going to fall down that trap if you don't get out of that. Remember, we're not trying to make you change. That's something that you have to do for the Most High. Okay? We would never try to make anybody change. You see, we change for the Most High. That's something we did for God. That's something you have to do for God. So, again, it says here that Simeon is Satan, right? He basically deceived the other ones, the you know, the, the, the watchers, one third of them, into sinning, sinning along with him. So look what it says here, verse 4. And they all answered him and said, let us all swear an oath, okay? And all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations, not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Verse 5, then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations on it. And they were in all 200 who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. Okay. So it's telling you here in the, in the days of Jared. So there were people upon the earth already. Okay. This is what the Most High Yahweh was telling you. Right, this is the reason why later later down they later down in life they became known as the Bells, okay? The Bells. Why they were called the Bells? Well, you know, because of their names. You understand that? They were known to be the watchers who taught humanity how to sin, how to, you know, make idols and such and such, how to create swords. Okay? Because of their names, right? Look at their names here. Ramiel, Cocobel, Tamiel, Ramiel, these are the Bells. You understand? Which today, you know, they're known as demons, aliens, okay? But this is what the Most High God says, that they were cursed. They were cursed for transgressing His laws, for coveting. You understand? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's read this for you. In Micah 7 and 5. Do not trust a neighbor. Put no confidence in a friend. You see that? Because why? I mean, the Most High God told you about our wicked neighbors. They were the ones who took... Our inheritance. You forget about that? Let's go ahead and show you this here. Jeremiah 12 and 14. This is what Yahweh says. As for all my wicked neighbors who seized the inheritance I gave my people, Yasharel, I will uproot them from their lands, and I will uproot the people from Yahweh from among them. Verse 15. But after I uproot them, I will again have compassion and will bring each of them back to their own inheritance and their own country. And if, key point now, and if they learn well the ways of my people and swear by my name, saying, as surely as Yahweh lives, even if they once taught my people to swear by Baal, then they will be established among my people. You understand that? So Micah 7 and 5 says, Do not trust the neighbor. Put no confidence in a friend, even with the woman who lies in your embrace. Guard, guard the words of your lips. What is it talking about? This is talking about your wisdom. You understand that? This is why you have to, you have to be faithful to the Most High. Remember, wisdom belongs to the Most High, remember? So he's the one who gives it and he's the one who takes it away. And let's go ahead and read about wisdom. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 3. It says here, do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings, right? This is why the Most High God says that a false balance, sorry, a, a false balance is an abomination. You see what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and read this in Proverbs 8 and 12. It says, I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear Yahweh is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance. See that? And what happened with Saul? Well, he became proud and arrogant. You see what I'm saying? He didn't watch his woman. He spent too much strength on his woman. You see what I'm saying? He forgot the Most High Yahweh who gave it to him. So again, it says here, To fear Yahweh is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. Verse 14, Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have insight. I have power. 
key point. Verse 15 says, By me kings reign and rulers issue decrees that are just. Okay? So this is why Proverbs 31 and 3 says, Do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. Like it says here in Jeremiah 9 and 23. This is what Yahweh says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom. Right? That's you. That's you people out there putting your strength in women. Right? Because again, you can have all the wisdom in the world. Solomon had seven thousand, sorry, seven hundred wives, which represent he he you know wisdom. He had a lot of wisdom, right? This is why he asked the Most High. So it says, don't go ahead and get proud and try to put your woman on a golden pedestal because she's gonna get knocked down. It says, let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boast boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me. Like it says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. With fourth I getting, get the proper understanding. You can have wisdom, you can have knowledge, you can have money, you can have power. But do you have the understanding to know who's God? So this is the reason why. Back in Micah 7 and 5, it says, Do not trust the neighbor, put no confidence in a friend, even with the woman who lies in your embrace. Guard the words of your lips. You understand that? Because again, if you don't guard the words of your lips, well, your woman was gonna be, she's gonna become haughty, right? That wisdom is gonna become haughty, arrogant, and it's gonna lead you to death, right? Because that's what the Most High God says about that haughty wisdom. Let's see if we can find that. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 5 Her feet go down to death You see what I'm saying? So if you're not guarding your woman right? Because that's what it says You're supposed to guard your steps All right, That's that's you guarding your woman When you guard your steps So it says here If you don't guard your steps Your feet is going to go down to death That woman is going to lead you down to death Okay Her feet go down to death Her steps lead straight to the grave This is why you have to watch your woman Okay, even with the woman who lies in your embrace, guard the words of your lips. So, let's go ahead and read Psalms chapter 118 verse 6. It says, Yahweh is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Right? Because that's all they are, mere mortals. You understand that? They believe in things that the Most High God taught the watchers. You understand? This is why they are mere mortals. Because the Most High God... He cursed those watchers. You understand? Those watchers wanted what God had created. God created wisdom. You understand? God created all things. Did he not? So this is what people do. These people, these mere mortals, you, you know, they, they, they get their wisdom from demons. They get their technology from demons. You understand? And they think that they're better than God. Not knowing that God was the one who gave all things. You understand? So us who serve Yahweh, we don't serve men, we're not afraid of men, we don't care what men say, it will be well with us because Yahweh is with us, us who serve him. Like it says, Yahweh is with me, I will not be afraid. What can me and mortals do to me? Verse 7, Yahweh is with me, he is my helper, I look in triumph on my enemies, right? And who are our enemies? Everybody who hates Yahweh. All right, whether you're black, white, Chinese, whether you're male, female, whether you're gay, straight, it don't matter. If you hate Yahweh, we hate you. It says here, verse 8, it is better to take refuge in Yahweh than to trust in humans. Verse 9, it is better to take refuge in Yahweh than to trust in princes. You see what I'm saying? Psalms 14, sorry, Psalms 146, verse 3. Do not put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. You understand that? Again, and human beings who cannot save. Jeremiah 25 and 9. I will summon all the peoples of the north and my servant, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Which, who is uh, modern day Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon? Well, this guy right here, Rockefeller. Just won't die, right? Well, most like I told you. It says, and I will bring them against this land and its inhabitants and against all the surrounding nations. I will completely destroy them and make them an object of horror and scorn and an everlasting ruin. 
right? As it is happening. 